Hello, everybody, and you find me back again at uh, Brindle... No, not at Brindleton. What am I talking about? You find me back at my house. Brindleton Boathouse, isn't it? Um, and we're just making a computer game on our day off. That. Or Caitlin is, anyway. I don't think the cats are helping too much. They're just dashing around, doing their kitty thing. They seem, like, fairly neutral. They could probably do with more hugs and kisses and stuff. As I say, I think... Um, a family where there were less cats and more people, that would probably be a lot better. But this particular playthrough, my whole, uh, the whole thing with it is that she has lots of cats and she is only happy with the cats. So the Cattails app is still getting us money. Not very much money, but it, like I think the idea with that is to have lots and lots and lots of different apps and games and things like that and that they would all slowly give her uh, more additional income, each each one of them. So, you know, uh, Cattails did start off okay, and then it tailed off, so she needed to just keep adding to that with more and more and more things. Um, but I, there's also, like, I could be doing, like, a really high-tech family or person or bachelor or whatever. There's, like, so many different families I want to do, so many different stories I want to tell with these Sims. And I'm, like... There's not enough time to do all of this. So that's why I would say that once I, again, like goals, once I get to a goal, series ends, I tell a different story. I do a new sim with different things going on. Just keeps it fresh and interesting, I think. You play with the same sim for too long. It's a bit like, yeah, I've seen this one. Or equally like a generational thing where, you, you know, your sims change with the generations. A legacy challenge might be good. I'm still trying to work out the rules on that, though. Uh, oh, Rafuda. Uh. Oh, Rafuda. Oh, Rafuda, that's terrible. Oh. Carry on. Oh. If you want to eat, you need to make it. That's stinking. Yeah, look at that way. She only ever makes things on the one counter. But one thing that people were saying to me with the Rosebud Challenge is if you don't want your sim to be a particular foodie and you just want your sim to just eat, like, food that doesn't cost anything, you pretty much just make sure you don't ever put a counter in their house or anything to cook with. And they just keep, like, eating cereal out the fridge and just chips and stuff. My sim is probably the most unhealthy sim in that challenge. But Caitlin has a bit more money. She has a bit more freedom with her life in general. So she's fine. She can eat her yogurt parfait all she likes. She's going to need some energy soon. She's going to need some hygiene and some fun. So how about we... Give special smoochies to Ixius. That's really cute. Special smoochies for fun. That's that special kitty smoochies. Come here, Ixius. We're watching Civic Public Access on the TV. Look at that TV. Oh my goodness, she needs that TV so bad. You know what? I know I said I was going to keep them separate. But I've got no real need for uh, the business funds at the moment. So I'm going to actually transfer them from Dash and Creek to household funds. 1,000. This reminds me of doing internet banking. So we've got 2,000 in our own um, little in our own little pocket there. And I'm going to sell the TV and I'm going to get her something better. Because it's horrible. I hate that TV so much. See, this one's nice. Fun 6, reliability 5. You get a nice TV stand as well. A nicer one at least. That's nice. A gaming console. Oh, wow, cool. An outdoor movie screen. <gasps> Whoa! I still have to have that somewhere, like a cinema for my Sims or something. I'll do one playthrough where they're really rich. Definitely. That's quite cute. But yeah, we'll just get like... Oh, that's tiny. Oh, it's a tabletop flat panel. 
cool, so it doesn't go on the... And that's a flat screen that goes on the wall. Okay, that's fine. That's nice. I'll give her that one. I also wanted to get her a coffee table or something. Just a little, um, little coffee table. Or accent table or something that she can put... Oh, the coffee tables. Oh, there we are. She can put these little candles on and stuff. So, something like that. No, that's disgusting. That's nice. I need to turn it, though. We'll do that, I guess. Will they go on there? No! Oh, my goodness. Where do they go? Nowhere, apparently. Actually, yeah, that would be really nice, actually. Back at the back somewhere. Like, under the bookshelf or something like that. I don't think that it... The way this is all set up, I, I'm not actually so keen on it. Counters, displays, what kind of displays have we got? Shelves and stuff that you can put on the wall. That's quite nice. Could put something on there. Something pretty. Some books or something up behind the TV. I love all this stuff. I love all the little tiny things that you can do. And then you can get all these little decorations and things and art and stuff like that. I want a picture above the fireplace so badly. All the dresses, just so much shopping. <sighs> anyway, we need to live so that we can afford to actually put things on these shelves. I'm annoyed by the candles though. I think they need to be on a dining room table, but we kind of gave our dining room up as a cat room. Unfortunate. I have a lot of perk points for the uh, for the vet surgery though, but we don't have a lot we can spend it on yet. A vet rush would be really useful. Um, patient patience make pet owners easier to impress with quick service and less likely to get upset at slow service. Inspirational speech for my employees. Lower training costs. Well managed. Lowers the chance of bad events happening at the vet clinic while your sim is away. Reduce pet stress. And a vet coat. Okay, I would say well managed is going to be the next one to go for. And reducing the pet stress. So we need to save up really for those. We need to open the vets. Oh my goodness, I'm terrible. I'm so bad. I may just leave it open. I've got a couple of vets now. Yeah, I'm pretty unhappy that I forgot to open it the entire day. Okay, we've got work tasks to do anyway. So we need to get to level 7 charisma, which we can do with a mirror, and level 5 writing. How did we get on with that game? Did it ever get made? Um, my programming. No, we didn't. Okay, we've been to Eve's place recently. So we need to chat about work twice with co-workers. I probably should have gone to see Eve, actually. Because that's I could have chatted about work twice with... I don't know whether you have to do that with two co-workers or find a co-worker, which Eve is, and then chat to them twice about work. Maybe I would need to do that. I'll ring her and ask if she wants to come around later. Problem is, I'm a little bit out of uh, whack with my... Oh no, Tilly's unhappy, and so is Angiri. I was going to say, I was just a little bit out of whack with my sleeping schedule at the moment. I love this bed so much. I don't want it to get too late. I may wake her up in a minute. Maybe let it get to about 7 o'clock or so. 
Oh, twist fallen. You woke her up. Okay, let's um invite over. Social. Plan a social event. Invite to hang out at current lot, Eve. There we are. She can pop over. And we can chat about work twice and then I can tell her to go home. <laughs> Look at all the cats on the bed. Let lick face. Hug. Petting. Licking face. Petting. That sounds a bit like what happens with Tilly. She actually... I didn't believe that cats would lick your face until I got Tilly. She licked my eyelid the other day. Like what kind of cat licks your eyelid? Let's get rid of these cues. Did she actually invite Eve over? Is Eve coming? Or did like her queue just get totally full filled up with cat stuff? I'm not sure if she actually did what I asked her to do there. Um, okay, well, Eva's not on the list, so I figure she's probably coming over. Ish. Okay, so I need to write a trending blog for followers, so let's go and write a blog. I haven't done that in ages, actually. My social media presence is probably uh, not too great. I thought the lasers were going to work then. I love that I have a laser kitty litter pan. That's so funny. How's the business doing? We've made a little bit of money. Why is the custom cat still at four? That's terrible. Oh, we got some extra followers. Here's Eve, so we can do our we can do our second part of our work day, which is just chatting to Eve. So we're like actually making our friend. Um, choices, Wendy, she took out our trash for us, oh you're such a good friend, discuss work, there we are, oh, it wasn't a trending blog apparently, I got more followers from it but it didn't trend. That sucks. But at least we can do half of the day's work, even if I can't do the, the blog. I'll try and do the blog. And then I'll need to pop down to the vets to manage everything. So. So complain about work as well. Complain about work, chat with Eve. Discuss work. Here we are. Is this happening now? Are we actually doing this? Work has been discussed. She is a co-worker, right? See, that didn't add up. This isn't working. I don't understand. Okay, we'll try one more time. Share conspiracy theory. Okay, gossip about co-workers. Oh, here we are. Run any of the following interactions. Gossip about office romance. Make fun of corporate groups. Brag about job title or offer career advice. 
Shuska. Ah. <laughs> Shuna. <laughs> Okay, I need to be really specific about this. Um, gossip about co-workers? Is that one? That's way too much. Become best friends, that's a nice one. I think that stops things decaying as much. But I still have... Oh, I've managed to do... Oh, okay. I managed to gossip a bit about my co-workers. Yay, best friends! Okay, let's try one more. Complain about work isn't going to work. Gossip about co well, gossip about co-workers again and see if that is going to Lamina Galpa Watini. If it's a May. No let's Just trying to read what else would work there. Bang it. Oh no, done. Nice. Gossip about co-workers seems to work fine. It was just getting the right interaction there. So I think we need to say goodbye to Eve, unless she's going on her own. She might be. Yeah, I think she's off home. Oh, no, she's off to jog. Okay, whatever. Whatever you want to do, Eve, that's fine. So I need to try and blog again. Social networking, blog for followers, and then we can try and see if that's trending. Hey, kitties. And then I need to go in. Once I've done my work, I can go and hug all the kitties. I'm going to just ultra speed through. Thanks, Eve. You really helped on my work. Insightful, practical, perfect. Caitlin now has gained 150 followers and she has 3,160 followers in total. She's got almost as many as I've got YouTube subscribers. But it's still not trending. Maybe we need to practice writing or something. Maybe if my writing skill was higher, I'd, I'd write better things. Let's do practice writing. And when it gets to about 7am, I actually need to open this vet clinic. Oh, no, it's, apparently it's open anyway. Do you know what? I'm pretty much going to leave it open. Neutral satisfaction. I need to go and schmooze the the uh, employees as well a bit. I'll pop over and do that in a few hours. Go be really nice to them. Make them my friends. Make them feel really good about working for me. Okay. I think we're hungry. We need something to eat. So uh, resume... Or clean up that, I guess. Whatever was happening there. Cooking. Gourmet meal. A caprice salad. That looks nice. I'm hungry now. I want a caprice salad too. I don't even know what it is. It just looks good. Apparently some crazy parties happening. We don't want nothing to do with no crazy parties. However, if in my other playthrough, that would be so good because I'd go and play the violin there and get so many tips. See, this is all this playthrough is all about being a shut-in. My other one's all about being really, really social. So it's quite quite cool. But you do always need at least one friend. Cool. We made another thousand there. That's pretty good. <laughs> view the last finances view shift summary. Find out more. So, still not really giving me 
much in the way of uh, of what's going on there, but I'm going to work on getting more perks and stuff. I might actually pop down there myself. I might take a, another holiday day and pop down there and just generally sort the place out. Go and chat to the staff, you know. Uh, I'll close it now, just for a little bit. So that they can go and have a rest. I don't know whether that's causing them issues because they're like unhappy. I want to, I think you can berate them for like slacking off and stuff, but I don't know. Um, I don't really know how they're doing at the moment because I haven't been there enough. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to try and write this blog again. I'm really struggling like to get this trending blog. I don't think I'll manage it, you know that. And it, it looks like I got paid as soon as I did the task. Rather than getting paid like at 8 o'clock each day or anything like that. It seems to just pay you as you do the task. And I think that's where I got a bit confused before and thought I hadn't been paid, but I'm pretty sure I had been. Okay, so it looks like I am getting writing practice by doing these blogs anyway. Nobody wanted to read past the first sentence. Yeah, I'm not going to do it then. I won't get that done by 8 o'clock. I don't think. I might do. Browsing the web. That's not something that's useful. Oh, apparently it's fun. That's all right then. As long as it's fun, as long as you find that fun. Looking at kitten pictures, what are you do? You're looking at the news or something. Boss was disappointed, made 907. I might need to send her to work just to get a promotion. Um, paid time off or vacation day? Vacation day, I think. And we're going to work on going to the vet clinic. We're going to go to the vet clinic and we're going to say hello to everybody. Oh, is it seven? Yeah, seven o'clock in the morning. So I think it's time to open it back up again. And then save up money for buying a new business. If we save up about 10 days worth of stuff, we can buy a new business. And if each business makes a thousand, you can see how that goes. But as I say, making retail businesses, not so much. However, one thing I do have is spa day. And you're supposed to be able to make your own spa with that. But I've not seen how to do that. So I don't know whether that counts as like a retail business. Specifically. I'm going to try and buy a retail store. Because last time I tried, it was to buy a vet clinic, I think. That's maybe why it wouldn't let me do anything. So I want to see if I can buy these. Yeah, I can. Clothiers. A retail place. An emporium. So I could buy all of these. They could all be businesses I own. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I want to go... I need somewhere with a spa. With a spa already, so I can see if I can buy it. Let's have a look around here. So we've got any spas that we can buy. Unowned businesses or unoccupied residential lots. Nope, nope, nope. So I can't really buy gyms or anything like that. I'm just trying to see what I can and can't have. The spice market. So nothing in here. Let's try Willow Creek itself. So I can't buy the clubs, the libraries, the gyms, anything like that. I 
buy an existing house and make that into some kind of resident, some kind of lot. Um, Oasis Springs, maybe? No spa here at all? No, so I think if I'm going to try and make a spa place, I mean, I could try and make it with... Mm, I just wanted to see if it was possible. That's why I'm kind of shopping for it. I could buy a plot of land and I could try and make... Can't have that one. Or that one. There's really not a lot of places I can buy at all, other than in Magnolia Promenade. Interesting, actually. Forgotten Hollow requires vampires. See, all these things I don't have and I want. Never mind. As I say, the one that I want most is the dining one, because so, I like owning businesses and I would like to be able to own more businesses. But it looks to me like if I want to make a spa place that I've got to um make it myself i'm sure i did have the spa day stuff i don't have enough to even buy a lot at the moment so i don't know why i'm really looking but i could buy a little lot next to next to the vets and i could um, make i could buy the other vet up eventually when i get enough money for it she's actually i think in the grand scheme of things she's still pretty poor to be honest It's only when you start looking at things like that that you actually realise. I mean, like, her kitchen's still the original kitchen. And her cooker's still the original cooker. She's got a nice TV and a nice computer now. So those are good things. But they're not even that good. <laughs> Main thing is, though, that she's happy with her kitties. So I think I think the kitties need hugs. Um, Pamper on couch. Colleen, come and have Pampers on couch. Come on. You're a good kitty. Come on. That's right. So how does pampering on the couch work? Oh, this is nice. That's so cute. I love it. Oh, look, she rolls over and everything and be so cute. If Tilly ever does that, you run. You absolutely run away because she's... Oh, thank you. You bought us a present. You're such a good kitty. You go, Yeah, you go get some norms. You, are, you did well. Okay. Oh. Kalina is such a princess, but she has really cute ears. Is that, huh? There we go. Ixius has really cute oh, ears too. <laughs> Who's meowing? Someone's meowing. Is it Tilly? No, Tilly's off. She's like in the middle of nowhere. I'm still quite pleased that, that even with like five of them, they are still doing quite well with that one litter box. <laughs> Oh, this is a lovely little little picture of them all just sitting on the couch, being all cute. This is what it's all about, isn't it? Isn't it, Zangiri? Let's pet Zangiri. He's so cute because he looks just like, just like How to Train Your Dragon Dragon. I've forgotten his name again. Toothless. Put away pet toy. Okay, so I did want to pop to the uh, the vets. We've had some some nice uh, cuddle time with the with the cats. Vangiri was quite happy there with it. Oi, you! Do not scratch. Okay, yeah, so I was going to pop over there and try and just make sure that the staff were, like, super happy so I didn't have to pay them as much, basically. 
So there is a travel to button, which is great. I like it when it makes things easy to do. I want to, I'm looking at the vets, so I want to go there. So there is a button to go there. You know, that's just nice, um, like game coding, to be honest. Game design, I suppose. It's not actually the coding that does, well, it does it, but it's the design that makes it intend to be there. Um, so far, three customers have been served. So we're not really getting uh, many people in. The wait time doesn't seem to be too bad, honestly. So I'm thinking... Check back later on those growth opportunities, but I'm thinking that possibly upping the uh, the old advertising might be good. I'm kind of annoyed by how long it's taking for that to go up, though. I'm sure I'm getting a lot more reviews at a three star. I do not want to be having a bad. Oh. Yeah. Antra about pets. This is a great looking vet clinic. Yes, it is. It's lovely looking, isn't it? So nice. I like it. I think it's really cool. Okay, so we're having some good interactions here. I need to greet them in a nice way, not in a bad way. Let's enthuse about cats to people. Rin oh yeah, mind you, mind you, she has a dog. Maybe she likes cats anyway. The pets here are great with pets. Good. Uh, persuade to wear a raccoon outfit, smile, rant, goof off. Okay. Don't think so. What I want to actually do is tell him to get his button gear. Check up on him. I just want to know how he's doing. Have a chat, generally praise him, tell him he's doing great. We'll praise Joelle as well when she's finished. Okay, and we'll pay for a little bit of training for him as well, some brief training. Well, um, oh, she gets standard training now. That's nice. That's good. Off-site training? Will there be an obstacle course? Don't tell me. I want it to be a surprise. Cool. I want to just be nice and friendly to her. In fact, I want to praise her. It really hasn't moved much today. But yeah, going in and complimenting my staff each day, that's nice. That's going to really help. So I think now uh, I'm feeling quite uncomfortable, but I think it's because my pet has been sprayed by a skunk and has decided to come near me with their unbearable smell. So yeah, I'm not happy with how the advertising is doing. Why is that guy sat there and got no pet? Seven more. Seven more. 
Let's go and banter about pet with this guy. Like, why is um Malcolm not doing what he should be doing? We have two vet stations and two vets. Like, he shouldn't have had to wait. I'm gonna call him over. Actually, make sure if he's actually in the building, that's gonna be a bit better. I'm not happy that he stood outside. I think he might be a bit stuck there. That cat seems to have been on the litter tree for a long time as well. Little bit buggy that I think. Right, so he's coming in. I'm gonna go and greet the cat. I think I think that's the problem. I think the cat's gotten stuck on the litter tray. See, that's not gonna help our reviews, is it? Yeah, let's do a friendliest introduction. Why is she not doing that? Come on, come on. This this guy needs. Nothing wrong with that cat, apparently. But I don't like the fact that that's giving me a bad review. Okay, cool. They seem to be out of the, the rut that they were stuck in. Okay, time to go home, I think. We're going to praise Joelle again. Oh, I already pra praised her once. Okay. I can fire her, criticise her, check up on her. I've got to craft stuff. But that's fine. So I just need to come in once per day, praise them and go home again, pretty much. That's fine by me. Let's go. We need some zuzzes. But yeah, I really want to start a spa as well. I, I'm, I'm thinking about my business empire here. There, that's better. They're starting to actually have multiple. Yeah, that's way better. The service profits are awful today, though. They're really bad. I think actually going there sometimes makes it worse. Okay, so I think we're going to just follow Caitlin home. And then I think, yeah, maybe like get a little spa business going because I got that spa day expansion I haven't played with it yet not strictly cats and dogs related but we are doing a lot of cat stuff and we have a vet and we're gonna probably save up to buy the other vets so I don't see why not okay so it's been open for eight hours what have we got to do for work today oh we had a day off thank goodness for that uh, so we need to do some writing. So I think just practicing writing at the computer would be a really good thing to do for a little while. But I think we're going to need to leave that till next episode because we have done a lot today. We've um, gone and messed around with working out exactly what we want to do for our new spa business. We've done some extra stuff over at the uh, vet clinic. We've just gone and praised the staff so that they'll feel a little bit happier with themselves. Um, but we pretty much need to leave that one just ticking along, I think. We can get a third vet in there, but I don't feel we have enough customers right now to do it. But it's pretty much like self-sustaining at this point. Uh, so I can pop over there and just like check on them every so often. And that's fine. And then I can just get on with my job other than that. Um, then, as I say, we, we've had a look at places that we could possibly put a spa into. I'm thinking, I don't know, anywhere we can buy a plot of land, really. 
Uh, we can put a nice little spa into. And as we get more money, I'll keep all the little businesses and we'll maybe make some bigger ones as well. But it seems like each business can only have three staff. So I need to just keep building on them. But yeah, I'm really, really, really enjoying doing all of this. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying watching. If you are, then please leave me a like. And if you'd like to watch more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you all next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.